good morning in this lecture we will discuss about uh, convex set some of its properties and results so let l be a linear space and x and y belongs to be l the closed segment determined by x and y is the set represented by this term. selection of a uh, 1 minus a x plus a y such that uh, a lies between 0 and 1 the half closed segments determined by x and y are the sets like these or upon x closed y is representing by the 0 less than a less than or equal to b Open segment determined by x and y is represented by the collection of 1 minus a x plus a y such that 0 is less than a less than 1. The line determined by the set x y is a set 1 minus a x plus a y such that a belongs to be r real. So we'll discuss now a definition of a convex set. So let x be a linear space over the field F and x1 and x2 are the two points in x. The set of all the elements of the form y is equal to be alpha x1 plus 1 minus alpha x2 where alpha lies between 0 and 1 is called the line segment joining between the points x1 and x2. A set C subset of AX is called convex if all the segments joining any two points of the set C are contained in the set. So here you can see that in this uh, example, in this diagram, if you are going to be join up any two arbitrary points in a given set, all the points are lying in a given set. And similarly, but here in this example, if you choose any two arbitrary points here, the collection of all the points on the line segment of uh, this line is not containing in this set. So this is an example of a non-convex set and this is the example of a convex set. So, and we have every subspace M of a set X is a convex set. And in the Euclidean space, the cube, circle, sphere, triangular area in the Euclidean 2 space, Euclidean plane, line segment are the convex set. So thus is said, C is a convex in X, if for all scalars alpha lying between 0 and 1, alpha C plus 1 minus alpha into C is a subset of a C. Equivalently for any two reals alpha and beta with the 0 is less than or equal to be alpha, uh, comma beta less than 1, we have alpha c plus beta c is a subset of a c. So now we discuss uh, the first theorem here. So let x, y and z be the three distinct points in the uh, linear space uh, x such that z lies between a line, z belongs to a line segment x, y. Then one of these points belongs to the open segment determined by the remaining two points. So z, let we have our z belongs to be L X Y. So we have z is equal to be 1 minus a into x plus a y for some a belongs to be r. So we have these are the points. So we have uh, say that a does not belongs to be a uh, 0 1 because the points x y and z are the distinct. So if a is greater than uh, 1 we have y is equal to be a minus 1 over a x plus 1 by a into z so y belongs to be a x z because a minus 1 over a and 1 by a both belongs to the 0 and 1 and similarly if 0 is less than a less than 1 we have a z belongs to be a x and y so finally if a is less than 0 and since x is equal to be 1 plus a upon 1 minus a into z plus minus a upon 1 minus a into y we have the x belongs to be a z bar. So we get the required solution. So now let 
L be a real linear space. A subset C of a L is convex if and only if any convex combination of the elements of a C belongs to C. Or you can say that uh, let L be a linear space and C the subset of a L be a convex set. If x1, x2, so on, xn belongs to be C, then all the elements of the form alpha1, x1 plus so on, alpha n, xn belongs to be C, where alpha i is greater than or equal to be 0 and summation of a alpha i is is equal to be 1. So the sufficiency of this condition is immediate. So now we will prove the necessity of the this given theorem. So consider x1, x2, so on, xk belongs to be C and the convex combination is the y is equal to be a1, x1 plus so on, ak, xk. So we prove this result by induction on a k greater than or equal to be 1 that y belongs to be C. Say m is equal to be 1 is an immediate case and in this case we have a y is equal to be a1 x1 and a1 is equal to be 1. So for the inductive step suppose that the statement holds for k and let y be given by a1 x1 plus so on a k x k and say that we have a k plus 1 x k plus 1. So we are a1 a2 so on a k plus a k plus 1 is equal to be 1 and uh, a i is greater than equal to be 0 and xi belongs to be a c. So we have y is equal to be 1 minus uh, ak plus 1 summation of ai upon 1 minus of ak plus 1 xi plus ak plus 1 xk plus 1. And since z which is equal to be a summation of ai upon a 1 minus ak plus 1 xi is a convex combination of a k vectors, we have z belongs to be c by the inductive hypothesis. And the equality y is equal to be 1 minus ak plus 1z plus uh, ak plus 1 into the xk plus 1 implies y belongs to be c. Hence, c is a convex set. So now, arbitrary intersection of a, any number of a convex sets in a linear space is a convex set. So now we have an arbitrary intersection of a, any number of a convex set in a linear space is a convex set. But the arbitrary union of a convex set is not a convex set. So union of two convex sets may not be convex. So, so let the proof we discuss. Also. So let M is equal to be the collection of uh, the all convex sets. And let C is equal to be the intersection of AM. Suppose that X1, X2, so on, XK belongs to be C. And AI is uh, greater than or equal to be 0 for I lying between 1 and K and a1, a2, so on, ak is equal to b1. Since x1, x2, so on, xk belongs to be ci, so it follows that the linear combination, the a1, x1, so on, ak, xk belongs to be ci for every i. Thus, a1, a, x1 plus so on, ak, xk belongs to be c, which proves the convexity of a c. So you can uh, prove with the help of example. Any example can be chosen out through which you can prove that the two convex sets may not be a convex set. So let next theorem is let C be convex set of a real linear space uh, L and if R1 and R2 are the positive real numbers then we have R1 plus R2 into C is equal to be R1 into C plus R2 into C. So if at least one of our, this R1 and R2 is 0 then the equality holds trivially, it's obviously. So therefore we assume that R1 and R2 are positive. So let Z belongs to be R1 C1 plus R2 C. So there exists uh, some X and Y belongs to be C such that Z is equal to be R1 X plus R2 Y. So therefore Z is equal to be R1 plus R2 into R1 over the R1 plus R2 into X plus R1 over R1 plus R2 into Y. So since C is a convex, so we have R1 over the R1 plus R2 into X plus R1 over the R1 plus R2 into Y belongs to be C. Which implies that this Z belongs to be R1 plus R2 into C. So we can get that the R1 into C plus R2 into C is a subset of a R1 plus R2 into C. 
so the reverse inclusion is a uh, immediate suppose that r1 plus r2 into c is equal to be r1 c plus r2 c holds for all the positives r1 and r2 and if alpha lying between the 0 and 1 taking the r1 is equal to be alpha and r2 is equal to be 1 minus alpha we see that the alpha c plus 1 minus alpha c is equal to be c which is a subset of a c so we get the result so now Next result is if A and B are the two convex sets in a linear space X, then A plus B is also a convex set. So sum of a two convex set is also a convex set. So now A say that the A plus B is equal to be the collection of A plus B such that the A plus A belongs to be A and B belongs to be B. So let X comma Y belongs to be a this collection A plus B. So we have x is equal to be a1 plus b1 for some a1 belongs to be a, b1 belongs to be b and we consider the y which is equal to be a2 plus b2 for some a2 belongs to be a and b2 belongs to be b. So now let alpha lying between a 0 and 1. So let alpha lying between a 0 and 1. So we have alpha x plus 1 minus alpha into y if we consider up this and substitute the values of x and y here. So we get alpha times a1 plus b1 plus 1 minus alpha a2 plus b2. So now rearranging the terms we have a alpha times a1 plus 1 minus alpha into the this term a2 plus alpha times the b1 plus 1 minus alpha times the b2. So now here because the a and b sets are the convex sets so we get that this uh, term belongs to be a and this belongs to be b. So we get that this term belongs to be a plus b. So we get that the a plus b is a convex set. Now further, every open sphere in a nonlinear space is a convex set. So next we are based upon the axis. So let L be a nonlinear space under the norm and open sphere Bx not R subset of this L is a convex set. So indeed suppose that x and y with the two arbitrary points belongs to be this open sphere having a center x node and radius r that is the norm of a x minus x node is less than r and norm of a x node minus y is less than r. So let a belongs to be 0 1 and z we have is equal to be 1 minus a into x plus a into y so we have a norm of x minus z so substitute the value of z now which is 1 minus a into x plus a times y so we get that x naught minus of 1 minus a into x minus a y so rearranging the terms we have this is equal to be norm of a into the x naught minus y plus 1 minus a into the x naught minus x is zero. So apply the triangle inequality of the norm here. So we get this is less than or equal to be a times the norm of x naught minus y plus 1 minus a times the norm of x naught minus x out. So we have already said that the norm of x naught in the, the previous we have said that norm of x, x minus x naught is less than r and norm of x naught minus y is less than r. So we get that this term is a less than r. So z belongs to be the open sphere. Similarly, we can prove that a closed sphere is a convex set. So we have open sphere is a convex set and also a closed sphere is a convex set. So now we'll discuss the definition of a convex hull. So let S be a non-empty subset of a linear space X. The convex hull of a S is denoted by the convex hull of a S like this or sometimes it is denoted by the CEO of S, is the intersection of all convex sets in X containing S. It is the intersection of all convex sets in X containing X. So now, uh, so you can say that convex cell is the smallest convex set in X containing S. So now we discuss the theorem now convex hell consists of all the vectors x which is the linear combination of uh, alpha i's x i's summation is from uh, 1 to n where x1 and x2 so on xn belongs to be s alpha i is greater than or equal to 0 with alpha summation of a alpha i of 
is equal to be 1 where i is from 1 to n and uh, index n is not fixed out. The proof follows from the principle of a mathematical induction. So let t be the collection of all the vectors x is equal to be summation of alpha i x i i is equal to be 1 to n. Where x1, x2, so on xn belongs to be the set S, alpha i is greater than or equal to be 0 and summation alpha i is equal to be 1. So for n is equal to be 1, every element of a S is an element of a T. So we get S is a subset of a T. So now we shall prove that the T is a convex set. So let u and v belongs to be T, where u is equal to be summation of a alpha i x i where i is equal to be 1 to n and x1 x2 so on xn belongs to be s alpha i is greater than equal to be 0 and summation of a alpha i is equal to be 1 and take the v is equal to be summation of a beta i x i where i is equal to be from 1 to n and x1 x2 so on xn belongs to be s beta i's are positive with summation of a beta i is equal to be 1 so let gamma lies between a 0 and 1 and we consider that the gamma of a u plus 1 minus gamma of a b and substitute the values of uh, the u and v here this is equal to be gamma times summation of a alpha i x i plus uh, 1 minus gamma into summation of a beta i x i and which is equal to be summation of uh, i is equal to be 1 to n a gamma of alpha x i plus summation of i is equal to be 1 to m 1 minus gamma beta i x i so now gamma times alpha i is positive and uh, 1 minus gamma of beta i is positive by our assumptions so also we get that the summation of uh, gamma into alpha i plus 1 minus gamma into beta i summation it is equal to be can be written as the gamma comes out of this summation and 1 minus gamma comes out of this summation so we get summation of a alpha i and summation of a beta i from i is equal to be 1 to m from i is equal to be here 1 to m and we know that summation of alpha i is equal to be 1 and summation of beta i is equal to be 1 so this is equal to be gamma plus 1 minus gamma which is equal to be 1 so what we found that we found that here the gamma of a u plus 1 minus gamma of a v belongs to be t. So therefore t is a convex set. So and s is a subset of a t and consequently convex cell is a subset of a t. So now we have to prove that the t is a subset of a convex cell of a s. So let w be any convex set containing s. So for n is equal to be 1, every element of a T is an element of S and consequently every element of a T is an element of W. So let us consider that the result is true for n is equal to be m. That is, it is true for m number of elements. That is, if x is equal to be summation of alpha i x i where i is equal to be 1 to m, we have uh, here the x1, x2, so on xm belongs to be s, alpha i's are positive and summation of alpha i is equal to be 1. Then x is an element of w. So let n is equal to be m plus 1 and x is equal to be summation of alpha i x i where i is from a 1 to m plus 1 belongs to be this t. Where alpha i is positive and summation of alpha i from i is equal to be m, i is equal to be 1 to m plus 1 is equal to be 1. So take beta is equal to be alpha 1, alpha 2, so on alpha i. So then beta is positive and choose the beta i is equal to be alpha i over the beta where i is equal to be 1 to m. Then summation of a beta i is equal to be 1. So further, we know that w is a convex and uh, beta 1 x1 plus beta 2 x2 plus so on beta m xm and xm plus 1 belongs to be a set w. So we have x is equal to be uh, alpha 1 x1 plus alpha 2 x2. This is alpha 1 x1. Alpha 2 x2 plus so on uh, alpha m xm plus alpha m plus 1 xm plus 1. So now we have already assumed that the in the previous we have assumed that the here the beta is equal to be alpha i over the beta. So we get the alpha i is equal to be beta into the beta. I. So we will substitute here. So we get that alpha 1 is equal to be beta into beta 1 x1 
This alpha 2 is the beta into beta 2 x2. This is the alpha m is equal to be beta into beta m into xm. And this is the, we get here, the formation is 1 minus beta into xm plus 1. So further, we have, this is why, because we have a, we have supposed up to the i is equal to be 1 to m. And we know that summation of a beta i is equal to be 1. And we further we choose up that, in that case we get that this is equal to be 1 minus of the beta. Okay. So now this is equal to be further, we can be rearranged the terms like this way. So common of the betas here and we get this is the plus 1 minus beta which belongs to be t which is subset of our w. So we can say that x which is equal to be alpha 1 x1 l plus alpha 2 x2 plus 1 alpha m xm plus alpha m plus 1 xm plus 1 belongs to be w. Thus, the result is due by a principle of a mathematical induction. That is, every element of a T is an element of a W with S is a subset of a W. So, as W is arbitrary, it follows that T is a subset of intersection of a W, where S is a subset of a W, that is, T is a subset of a convex hull of a S. So, we prove that here the uh, S, in the first, uh, we have proved up here in this case like uh, convex hull, hull of a s is subset of a t and after that in this uh, we prove that the t is a subset of a uh, so we have proved this one here and next here in this we prove that the t is a subset of a convex hull of a s from these two we can say that t is equal to be the convex hull of a s and hence we get the result these are the references Thank you.